Sonic Screen Hills Adventures Season 5 Chapter 11, Sonic Boom. On Bygone Island, Boom Tails was walking to his workshop when he heard a ruckus going on in there. So he rushed in. Boom Tails' point of view. When I got there, I saw my latest invention, a dimensional portal, acting strange. Before I knew it, I heard a baby crying. Huh? What's going on? I said as I walked towards where it was coming from cautiously. <laughs> it was a baby girl with black hair and she was crying her little eyes out. So I quickly took her in my arms. Hey, it's okay. No one is going to hurt you. I said as I tried to calm her down. Once she was, I decided to go to Sonic's place to figure out what to do next. Once I made it there, I knocked on his door. Hey Sonic, can you let me in? Something really weird just happened and I need your help. I said and immediately after that the door opened. Sure buddy, what's... Uh... Is that an human baby? But how? Eggman is the only human on the island. Sonic said in a panic. Well, you know that dimensional portal I've been working on? I asked and he nodded. Well, it was acting weird. After that, I found her. I said seriously. We better let the others know about this and investigate that machine. Sonic said as he turned his communicator on. Hey, Amy, Knuckles and Sticks. Meet me at Tails Workshop. Something strange just happened. Sonic said seriously. Okay, we'll be there as soon as we can. Amy replied and we headed back to my workshop. Boom Sonic's point of view. A few minutes later, Amy, Knuckles, and Sticks arrived. So what's going on, guys? Amy asked as she walked in. Well, after this device acted up, Tails found her. I replied and gestured to the baby. What? She's so cute! Amy said in excitement. Well, would you like to hold her while I figure out what happened? Tails asked as he walked up to her. Sure thing, Tails. Amy replied as she carefully took the baby into her arms. Wait, is that a human baby? What if it's one of the Eggman's schemes to spy on us? Six asked as she began to freak out. Well, calm down, Six. I figured out what happened. Tails said quickly. And what is that? Knuckles asked curiously. It malfunctioned, bringing her here from an alternate dimension. Tail said reassuringly. Suddenly, it seemingly acted up again. Movie Sonic's point of view. After Shadow said just control, we were in a white void with a portal pulling us toward it. Oh, Shadow, what's happening? I asked him nervously. It's either something interfered with my chaos control, or this is what happens when it goes wrong. Shadow said as reassuringly as he could. Then suddenly my phone rang. It was Aunt Racho. Hey Aunt Racho, what's up? I nervously for something told me it wasn't good. It's about Ronica. She just vanished into thin air. Please tell me she's with you. Aunt Racho said in a worried panic. We all went on after that for a few minutes. What? She just disappeared. I'm afraid we don't have her. But don't worry, we'll find her. I promise. I said as reassuringly as I could. Good. Text me when you find her. Also, what's been going on? Aunt Rachel said seriously, so I explained what just happened to us. Oh my, I'm so glad you're all alright, but where are you now? Aunt Rachel asked once I was done. In a white void heading towards a portal to who knows where. I replied sheepishly. Well, uh, just be careful. Aunt Rachel said sounding stunned. Of course, Aunt Rachel. I said before hanging up as we got super close to the portal. So where do you think this portal leads? Iced out of curiosity. Maybe my world? Modern said hopefully. Ooh, or maybe another sonic dimension. Marina said excitedly. That would be interesting. I just hope somehow Annika is there too. Silver added nervously. Don't worry, little bro. We'll find her. I said reassuringly. Finally, we were going through the portal. It was such a wide ride that I thought I was going to pass out from the overwhelming adrenaline. Once we finally made it to the other side, we landed hard, practically piled on each other as we all groaned. However, I could hear a baby crying, so I shut up and gasped as I saw Annika in someone's arms. Annika, thank goodness you're safe. We missed you so much. I exclaimed as I ran over to her and was about to take her in my arms. That's when I saw it was another Emmy. However, she stepped back. Wait, that makes no sense. She's a human. Who are you guys? Emmy demanded skeptically. Now, Movie Sonic, 
and Annika is my sister. I said seriously, but Ami backed up more. I'm Movie Shadow, Movie Sonic and Annika's alter brother. Shadow said as he stood next to me. I'm Movie Silver, the middle child. Silver said as he came up. I'm Longclaw, their godmother. Longclaw added. I'm Marina Melody, Movie Sonic's true love. Marina said in human form right before going back to her Mobian form. I'm Maddie and this is my husband Tom, we're their parents. Mom said as she and Dad walked up. And I'm Modern Sonic. Modern added as he walked up. Wait, three Sonics in one place? Tails said in shock. That's when we looked over and saw another Sonic. Modern Sonic's point of view. When I realized we were in another Sonic dimension, I decided to call Modern Tails. Tails, are you there? I asked hopefully. Yes, I'm here. What's up? Tails said once his face appeared on my communicator. We've arrived in another Sonic dimension after Movie Shadow attempted chaos control. Think you can find information about it? I asked hopefully. Hmm. Is the Sonic of that world with you? Tails asked. Yes, this is him. I said as I let Tails see him. Oh, that's just what I needed. Okay, let's see. Ah, you're in the Sonic Boom dimension. It's both a game and a TV show. Tails replied happily. So, Boom Sonic, I recognize everyone here except for her. I said as I pointed to the Badger Girl. I'm Sticks the Badger. People around here think I'm crazy. Except the mom. They just refuse to see what's right in front of them. Like how you're and Paul's is planning to take our place. Styx exclaimed as she pulled out a boomerang. Huh. You're just like Crazy Carl. Movie Sonic said with sparkling eyes. Crazy Carl? Whom Amy asked in confusion. He's from my world and is our local conspiracy theorist. I used to mess with him for fun, but we're great friends now. Bobby Sonic explained as he laughed. However, before anyone could say anything, Styx threw her boomerang. Movie Sonic's point of view. Once I noticed Sticks throwing her boomerang, Tom slowed down as I smirked. Really, Sticks? I said as I dashed to bind her. Huh? Where did he go? Sticks asked as she looked around frantically. Then I tapped her shoulder. Hey there, looking for me. I said smugly as she turned around. What the? How did you do that? Not even our Sonic can do that. Sticks demanded in hysterics. Well, neither can I, so I guess that makes Movie Sonic the true fastest thing alive. Modern said as he came over to me and put a hand on my shoulder in support. What? That's nonsense. I refuse to believe that. Boom Sonic said in denial. Sure, whatever floats your boat. Now come here, Annika. I said as I dashed back over to Ami. Thankfully, she gave Annika back to me. Oh, I better let on Rachel know we found her. I said as I sent that text to her. Boom Sonic's point of view. While they were busy, I walked over to Tails. So, buddy, have any idea what caused your dimensional portal to act like this? I asked, hopefully, as I saw him working hard at his computer. Hmm. When it comes to what caused the malfunction to bring Anika here, no idea. However, with the others, something happened. Guys, what were you doing before you ended up here? Tails asked the others. Well, long story short, Power Hungry Exodus captured us for our powers. We overpowered them, tried to get back to Earth. Which is the opposite side of the movie verse. V Shadows chose control. Movie Sonic said at rapid fire. So, let me guess. You're nade to using it? Modern said seriously. Uh, distance wise, yes. So, why do you ask, Tails? Movie Shadow said sheepishly. That explains it. You did that right after my dimensional portal acted up. It's gonna take some time to repair it. Tails said reassuringly. If that's the case, what should we do now? Tom asked seriously. Oh, that's easy, since we just survived our scariest adventure yet. And renewed with Annika, I said we could use a party. Moomby Sonic said excitedly as he hugged his family. However, he suddenly stopped as we heard his stomach growling. Oh, but maybe we should get something to eat first. Movie Sonic admitted sheepishly. Well, follow me. I know the perfect place. Amy said as we all followed her to her restaurant that was rebuilt a month ago. Here we are. And since you're our guests, it's on the house. Amy said as we entered. Nice place. Movie Sonic said as Amy showed them the menu. Thanks, Movie Sonic. In fact, it's my restaurant. So what would you like? Amy said happily. 
How about a round of chili dogs? Mubi Sonic said helpfully. Sounds perfect. Maddie said sweetly as she rubbed the back of his ears. Coming right up. Amy said as she headed off to make them. So, what's like Flake where you guys come from? I asked as we sat down. Well, we're the only Mobians on Earth living in the quaint small town of Green Hills. We go to the local school, meet Shadow, Marina, and three other friends are in a rock band called the Blue Angels. Moby Song said happily. Wait, school, how do you have patience for it? I'd never make it when I was your age. I can't sit still for long. I said in chalk as we all laughed. Movie Sonic's point of view. I was about to reply when my phone rang. It was requesting a video call, so I answered. Hey guys, are you all okay? Where are you? Joe asked as we saw him and all our other friends behind him. You show we were all fine. We're in another Sonic world known as the Boom Universe. Say hi to our friends, Boom Sonic. I sat and put Boom Sonic on screen. Wow, he looks so cool. Nice sports tape. Jessica said no. Thanks, I know I look good. Boom Sonic said cockily, making our friends laugh. So how did you defeat the Echidnas? Crystal asked nervously. Well, Robotic was helping them by making a mission to suck our powers out of us. They used me for a test run to make sure it wouldn't kill us before attempting to actually take our powers. And it hurt a lot. So when he put Marina in that thing, I couldn't do anything. However, once I heard her screams of pain, I was able to fight through these power-blocking cuffs, thanks to my Dark Sonic form. Then I knocked them all in and set everyone free. Shadow healed us. I replied confidently. I used a new spell I learned to make them forget their hunger for our powers. Marina added happily. I was attempting to get us home, but it went wrong and we ended up here. Shadow said sheepishly. Wow, congratulations on freeing yourself from that trauma for good. Sim said happily. Thanks, Sim, but I don't think the nightmares will ever go away. This encounter gave me new scars, but I can get through it with all my loved ones having my back. I said seriously. That's true, so when do you think you'll be coming home? Crystal asked hopefully. Well, Boom Tails has a machine that can get us there, but it's under repair right now. But don't worry, the moment that the machine is up and running, we'll be coming home. I explained reassuringly. That's great, we'll have fun while you're there. Bib said encouragingly. We will, I'll call you when there are updates. Oh wait, I'll see can one of you find and look after him while we're here. I said hastily. I can do that. Crystal said reassuringly. Thanks, Crystal. Well, gotta go. I said and hung up as Emmy came back with the chili dogs. Thanks, Emmy. I said excitedly. You're very welcome, though, his Sonic job. Emmy said and we dug in. Oh, wow, these are amazing, Emmy. I said as the others nodded. Well, I'm glad you like them. So, where should we have this party? Emmy said curiously. I have an idea. Is there a beach nearby? Marina said excitedly. Of course, this is an island after all. Emmy replied reassuringly. Well, then it's settled. Who's up for a beach party? Marina said enthusiastically. Oh, I'm so in. I think we could use this from right about now. I said happily as we finished eating. Then I turned to my counterparts. Hey, Modern and Boom Sonic, why don't we put our speed to the test? Last one at the beach is a clamshell, so what do you say? I asked feeling competitive all of a sudden. Oh, you're on. Modern said with a smirk. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Boom Sonic added as his friends as well as mom and dad were preparing everything we'd need to take to the beach. Then I turned toward Amy. Hey Amy, can you do me a favor? Can you watch over Annika while I'm doing the race? I asked hopefully. Sure thing, Mivy Sonic. Amy replied happily. Thanks, Amy. Now you guys ready to Lowe's? I said as we left the restaurant and getting into our running stances. No, are you? Boom Sonic said a little too seriously. Nope, see you at the finish line. I said and then we dashed off. Well, movie, I should warn you, I have the advantage. This is my home turf. Boom Sonic said boastfully. This made me internally giggle. Oh, we'll see about that. I'm a master of parkour and improvisation. I said and ran faster, dogging trees and rocks like nothing. I was now in the lead and decided to pull a little prank on my counterparts. So I activated my lightning form to give me an extra boost. Once I made it to the beach, I jumped in the water and stayed under, but close enough to surface to hear them so I could know when to reveal myself. Boom Sonic's point of view. Right after Movie Sonic mentioned that, he disappeared. What the heck? I said as I boosted even faster, trying to catch up as Modern Sonic was not too far behind me. 
Well, Mater, where did Movie go? I ask frantically. I don't know. I guess he wasn't kidding. Modern said in confusion. Oh well, I'm still gonna win. See you at the finish line. I said smugly and went even faster, leaving Modern in the dust. However, as we finally reached the beach, he almost cut up. Thankfully, in the end, I won. Ha! Take that, Modern. And, oh wait. Where's Movie? I said nervously. Movie Sonic's point of view. The moment Boom Sonic said that, I knew to make my entrance. So I razor faced, making sure my Merhag tail was in full view. Actually, I did. Sorry, Boom and Modern. Looks like I'm really the fastest Sonic. I said and I laughed at the look on Boom's face. Wait, what? I know I lost track of you, but wait, is that fish too? Boom stuttered shackly as he pointed to my tail. At that very moment, the others arrived, thanks to Shadow Show's control. Hey guys, I'm the true speedster around here. I said excitedly as they came over and started setting everything up. Nice one, little bro. Shadow said as he high-fived me. Thanks, Shadow. I said and we had a laughing fit. Way to go, my love. Marina said and then kissed me passionately. Then my brothers and her joined me in the water. Stick's point of view. Wait, you're fish people? I knew something was off with you shapeshifters. I said as I got into a battle stance. Actually, it's mer people. So relax, we're just trying to get home. Melina said with a reassuring smile. Fine, but I've got my eye on you guys, I said reluctantly. So how is this even scientifically possible? Boomtail said curiously, then Movie Sonic explained everything. Wow, that's amazing, Boomtail said excitedly. I know right. Well, guys, what for a race? Movie Sonic said as he looked for something to use as a finish line. Oh, you're on, little bro. Movie Shadow said cowlingingly. Great! Let's one to that rock out there is a clamshell. Movie Sonic challenged excitedly. That's perfect. Let's do it. Marina said happily. Then they swam off at top speed. Boom Sonic's point of view. As they started the race, I couldn't believe how nice and supportive Movie Shadow was. He was like the total opposite of Boom Shadow. I just hope they didn't end up beating him. Who knows how he'd react. So while I waited for them to come back, I decided to talk to the Wachowskis. So how did you meet your kids anyway? I asked curiously. Well, they ran into trouble with the government. Once we solved both issues, they needed a place to live. So we welcomed them into our family. But that's just the short version. Maddie replied happily. Then she and Tom told us the full versions. Once they were finished, I stumbled back a little, completely dumbfounded. They were all alone for that long? You two are absolute saints, I said in awe. Yeah, it shocked us too. It took forever for me to just wrap my head around it. As for us, well, they needed us and we were happy to provide it. Tom said seriously. Meanwhile, with the race, they were neck and neck. Marina realized she had to do something to change that. So she gave herself a slight boost and shot forward, winning the race. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Marina said in surprise at her instant victory, while the other's jaws dropped. Whoa, how did you do that? Movie Silver asked with amazement in his eyes. I don't know. All I was trying to do is avoid this being a four-way tie. Not as an instant win. Marina said with a shrug. Well, either way, that was amazing, Marina. Movie Sonic said as he swam up to her and then kissed her. Oh, thanks, Sonic. You're so sweet. Marina said as they all began to swim back to shore. 